last Bible study. Don't all jump up at once. No. I don't know what class she was at. Uh, and and uh, Doriana, we, we laugh here. Uh, we ask questions. So this one here is like a class. It's not like the Sunday service. So, so it's more like it, it is a Bible study class. If you don't understand it, say, I don't understand that. Uh, if you have something to say, we also are open to hear. Alexis, what was it? Okay. Nobody remembers what we taught on last Sunday. Hey. Honor and respect. Remember that about honor and respect. So now let's start from the beginning. What is honor? Admiration. Admiration. What else? We gave eight word definitions. When you esteem someone. Esteem is okay. What else? Honor. What the word honor? What does honor mean to you? We said we have a gentleman who's going to the Coast Guard in three weeks. He's going to learn honor. He's going to have to salute to everybody that he sees and anybody because uh, he's coming in from the bottom. What did you say? Fear, okay, fear, uh, yes, fear, go ahead, what else? All three are right, there's t uh, five more. Nobody else remembers? All right, for time's sake, when you regard, respect, fear, treat as special, admire someone, okay, Honor is also ethical conduct, how you carry yourself. You heard that person carries himself with honor, or that person does not carry himself with honor, so also it means ethical conduct. Also it means privilege. When you honor someone, uh, let's say you give them the best seats in the house, you're giving them a privilege, or you're giving them a privilege, so honor somebody, and then fulfill the terms. When you fulfill the terms of a contract, what did you do? You honor. When you get married, what do they say? Do you what? Will you honor and obey, right? So the word honor is in the marriage covenant contract, also honor, okay? But since we don't have honor in this country, we don't understand, like, we don't honor our people in authority, we don't honor our elected officials, uh, we think because we have a right to criticize, a right to voice our opinions, that we don't have to give honor to the position. And it's not the person, we may not agree with the person, but we have to treat with respect the position that they argue, that they uh, that they occupy. So when you go into a courtroom, yes. I don't want to interrupt you, but you didn't teach that last week. When did I teach it? I was here last Tuesday. It was on Sunday. It was on Sunday? Yeah, on Sunday. You didn't teach that last Okay, well. Okay, so we're going to teach it now. But I don't agree with that, but we're going to get we'll put We'll put the video tape back in regards to that. The lady that just took her hair. Right in front of the pool. Well, I did, that was a review, and then I went into honor. So I did the review on asking, so I have my notes. I, mean, I don't do this all the cuff. Everything is by notes, so I have it the weeks. But but it's okay, you're entitled to, uh, remember the rules, I have rule number one, the boss is always right. And rule number two, see rule number one, the boss is always right. <laughs> no, no, so we did do honor. We quoted the tail end. But anyway, no problem. That's good that you were paying attention okay. on that part. So now where were we? Help me, Holy Spirit. Uh, go ahead. Um. Oh, no. What we're saying is that we have to respect the position. So when you go to court and the judge comes out, what, is, what does the, the bailiff say? All right. Okay. And if you don't, that's uh, criminal, lawyers, everybody's got to, uh, you're just there. The audience, everybody's got to rise. What's the point of rising? Showing honor of, of the man who's representing the law. Okay, so show honor. Uh, so now the thing is this, that since we don't really know what honor is, a lot of us don't know what it is to honor our parents. Uh, a lot of us don't, honor, we have to honor anyone who's older than us, really. Anyone that's older than us, we're supposed to show them respect. If you say, if a child, you say somebody who's not your kid, hey, don't do that, what will they say? Hey, you're not my mother or you're not my father. Right before, you know, 25 years ago, you would never say that. If an adult said something to you, you just said, okay. And you might have backtalked privately, but you wouldn't say it to the person to their face. Uh, so again, honor. So we have to learn uh, how to honor and respect God. So we saw in the scriptures that so, uh, we honor God with our lips, but not with our conduct. And what God is looking for is in our actions. So not here in church, hallelujah, I love you, Jesus, I love you, this. And when we go outside... We're not forgiving, we're talking bad about people, we're doing things our own way instead of the word of God. So yes, here, we're, we're showing, we're playing the part of honoring God, 
but then out there, uh, we're not honoring God in our private lives. And remember that God sees us only when we're in church. He's watching us 24-7, 365 days a week. So he's always watching us to see, yeah, he's got it. My, my boy's got it. My girls, my daughter's got it. Or, man, they're playing. They think I don't see what they're doing or what they're thinking. Amen? So they honor God uh, by putting all of his... Uh, God deserves honor, but God always gives us before he acts. So God, how he honored us by putting all of the works of his hands under us. So everything that God created, he's put it under us so that we can have dominion over the works of his hands. We're going to see that scripture in a little bit. God also calls us great. God gave us power through the Holy Spirit. That's, that's an honor that he gives us power to, to operate here on this earth as his ambassadors, as his representative. Isn't that an honor? Some people in my company, uh, I'm speaking, and you know, they, they'll say something as if it was me. I'm saying, you don't speak for me. I speak for myself. Uh, have you heard people try, maybe speak for you and you have, you've correct them? But God allows us to speak for him. Isn't that giving us honor? Yes. Amen. So he's showing us Honor by allowing us the right to use the name of Jesus. Okay, that's an honor that we have. But we just, oh, well, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You know, we don't give that name the honor uh, and that, that it deserves and that, and that it should, that uh, God should demand from us. Amen? I mean, then also, we God calls us great. Uh, and uh, we have to learn how to fear the Lord in the Bible. The word fear, because Eddie said fear, but what does fear also mean? Respect. So when you read in the Bible, fear God. God does not want us to be afraid of Him. The word fear, if you look it up in the dictionary, means to respect, to hold in high esteem. So if people say, how many here fear God? Raise your hand. You fear God in the way of, in either way. If I say, how many here fear God? How many raise their hand? Raise your hand if you fear God. Okay, so now, we, everybody raise their hands, right? But now, how many here do not have somebody that they haven't forgiven? Raise your hand. How many have somebody that they have that they've spoken uh, not nice things about? How many here? Okay, so we're getting hands raised in the back. So you're not, the front row is real good. This is the holy row, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're being honest in the back there. That's good. I like you guys are with me. I'm with you guys. So I'm with you guys. So, yeah. Okay, so, so, so now we say we love God, but yet we do things. Um, you know, how many of us say we respect our parents, but yet our parents say don't hang out with this person? And what do we say? You don't know that, mom. You just want to, uh, you know, meet up to have fun. They're nice people. And then after five years go by, after they do something, you say, man, mom was right. That guy was no good, or that girl was no good. Uh, or else we say, yeah, I'm going to pay attention to you, and then we go and do hang out with them. I know my mom told me a lot of times, I'm not going to see that person. They did it. So was I showing respect and honor to my mom? No, so you, you, you got it? So again, we honor with our lips, but not with our, with our actions. And God wants us to honor with our actions, not only with our lips. Amen? All right, so that was last week. So just one scripture, one benefit of honoring God. Go to 1 Peter chapter 5. And let's see, on Sunday we had the vision screen working real fast. We, I had a 13-year-old back there. Today I got a 130-year-old back there. Go ahead. It's on? I don't know where it's on. My faith is on. Aquí no lo vemos. It's not on. All right, we're going to go to the other. Okay, ready? Let's all read it together. Ready? Read. Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. So if you humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, what does that mean to somebody? Humble yourself to God. Somebody. This is a Bible class, two-way street, not only a one-way street. Sundays is one way. Go. Put yourself beneath God. Okay, give me more. Put yourself beneath God. What does that mean? Surrender. Surrender. What does surrender mean? That is not all about you. That is not about you getting closer. What else? Listen. Who said? Somebody said listen. Listen to God, right? So humble yourselves. In other words, obey Him. So not do things your way. The Bible says we have to forgive everybody or some people? Everybody. everybody. And does it say to forgive quickly? Or what does it say about forgiveness? 
When do we have to forgive people? Before the sun goes down. Before the sun. She, she will remember that one, right? But, but I would remember, I, instead of when the sun goes down, I want to say, forgive as I want to be forgiven. That's how I remember in reference to forgiveness. Now, how do you guys want to be forgiven? Before the sun goes down or right away? Right away. Right. So, so then how should you, should you forgive everybody? Right away. right away. Not before the sun goes down. So if somebody messes up with you at 8 a.m. in the morning, what are you going to say? Okay, I'll see you at 6.30. <laughs> right? So suffer for those 12 hours. No. I want to be forgiven right away. So that, but the same way you forgive, that's the way you're going to be forgiven back. So we have to forgive right away. So then humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he, too many of us are trying to exalt ourselves. One of the things in this church, I don't want to go ahead of God. I want God to lead us. So people tell me, when are we going to have our own location? I say, when it's time, and when God tells me, I'm going to do it. We can rent a place right now, tonight I can get a place that fits 5,000. And what are we going to do if there's 50 of us here? Right? Uh, so no, we're going to do it at God's timing when God says it. So we're going to follow God instead of following the flesh. Now, do you think, some of you know a little bit about me, do you think I would like to have a nicer place than this for us? Yes. Knowing me? But I'm going to follow God. So you got to say, yeah, you saw in the beginning, what was I doing in the beginning? Taking pictures, right? So so in the future, when you see our big location, and, and you guys, I remember him when he was preaching and taking pictures and putting the chairs, so it's okay, God loves small beginnings, I humble myself on the God, doing everything that's, that's uh Whatever we have to do, and God will exalt us in due time. Amen? All right, now, for today, anyone have a question on that? Everybody understands to honor God, not by lip, but by our conduct. Amen? Okay. Today, we're going to talk about angels. I've been sharing about it a little bit, but we want to, I think it's time for us to learn. And if you learn that my teachings have been going layer by layer by layer, and Christians, we have angels available to us, and we have to learn how to put them to work for us. Amen? So now, first, first question. Do, how many here know that they have angels? Raise your hands. Okay, so now, God, once you accept the Lord Jesus, you have the power of angels available for you. Now, how many different types of angels does the Bible talk about? Anyone know? There's a Bible study. Uh, in class, you might have a wrong question. It's okay, you answer wrong. You only get 10 lashes, and he's going to do 50 push ups uh, in the back of your wrong answer. Eddie? Uh, the the archangels. Right? Go ahead. Uh, Cherubim. Go ahead. Seraphim. Seraphim, good. The angel, regular angel. What's a demon? A fallen angel. Demons are fallen angels, okay? So right there, five different types of angels that the Bible talks about. So, archangel, okay? An angel, archangel, a cherubim, and a seraphim. And then demons were angels that were kicked out of heaven. Who did the demons follow? Satan. Satan, okay? So when Satan went, how many of them followed Satan? One third, One third of the angels rebelled against God, and they were all kicked out of heaven. And where did they come? Right here to the earth. And that's why there's demons all over the place. There could be some demons here. No, my, my faith no, there's no demons here uh, in Jesus' name. But And one person can have a legion of, a legion of demons. One person, all right? So you can have a legion. Now, how much is a legion? Anyone knows? Go ahead, you guess wrong twice, so keep on going with the numbers. You got 1,000, 2,000, no. 165,000, no. 100 push ups for one guy, no mistake. Go ahead. This is like the price is right, right? At least she's under. You're like way over the, the, the price. No. 6,000. 6, a legion is a military term, okay, made from the Roman legions. If you look it up in, in your books, a legion. So 6,000 is 6,000 soldiers. Welcome, everybody. Uh, so a legion is 6,000. But now let's confirm. Uh, an angel, the definition of an angel is a spiritual being superior to humans in power, okay? So it's a spiritual being superior to humans in power, and they have been sent to minister to, on behalf of God and to minister to us. What's, when somebody is ministering to you, what are they doing? Somebody. 
teaching. What else are they doing? Serving. serving. Okay, so they were sent to serve us. So if you guys got angels, have they been serving you? Yes. But not everybody's answering yes. And we're going to teach you guys to make sure that they start serving you in Jesus' name. This power. We're going to teach you about power. I'm a student of power. When I was in the world, in darkness, I studied power. And now I'm studying spiritual power. And we need to understand this spiritual power in Jesus' name. Amen? So let's start. Let's see what the Bible says. Genesis 3.24. I'm going to do three hits on angels. Ready? Go. Everybody, go. So he drove out the man, and he placed what? Cherubim at the east of the garden.